from the monochrome display. So we have a cell, we have liquid crystal, and of course we have polarizers, an ITO layer for the, <coughs> uh, for the electrodes, but additionally here we have a uh, electronic circuit. Yes, usually it's a one transistor or more, some capacitors to, to sustain the, the pixel state when we switch off and on <coughs> the pixel. So uh, in, a, in a TFT display, the, the pixels are way, way more complicated because we don't need to only build a liquid crystal part, but we also need to build an electronic part. <coughs> That's why the TFT display technologies are very expensive um, to manufacture. Okay, so here is the, the real, let's say, cell inside, and here is the circuit. So uh, if you are familiar with the electronics, you know that the transistor is like kind of a switch. So this transistor allows us to switch on and off the pixel. Um, and because it's built into the pixel itself, it can be done very fast and controlled, uh, uh, very well controlled, yes? So uh, we know exactly, uh, we, can, we can control exact state of every pixel and actually not only the, uh, the states that are on and off, full on and off, but also all the, the states in between. So in a TFT, we use it a lot. We use a lot of gray scale, yes? So we like, switch on and off the light with some steps and usually for TFT it will be 8 bits per color so we have 256 steps for every color of the brightness for every subpixel and then because we have three subpixels nah, then we have 24 bits yes if we have 24 bits to uh, power uh, 24 will give us uh, over 16 million bits, uh, 16 million uh, combinations, uh, 16 million colors that we can at least theoretically uh, show on our screen. That's why from RGB pixels, um, from three basic colors, we can build 16 million different colors uh, from white to black and all the way. Okay, so... Uh